Hi, everyone. Do you know where I am? That's right. I'm in China, and I just ran into my British neighbor, Steve. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Hi, Tim. What are you doing in China? I'm here teaching English for Project Learn. Wow, that's awesome. You can work and travel. Yeah, I'm fortunate. What are you doing here? I'm here on holiday with my family. Wow, what a great holiday for you all. I bet your daughter has been having fun. She has. She bought a cool terracotta warrior souvenir. Do you guys like the food? Most of it we like. The fried rice and dumplings are amazing. I was the only one who liked the squid, however. Ha, huh, I am not a fan of squid either. Well, I better get back to teaching. Would you like to review the vocabulary with us? Sure. I love words. Ran into. Ran into means happened to meet, or by chance you met somebody. Perhaps when you went to the grocery store, or you were out for a run or a walk, or you were in China, like Steve and I are. How's it going? How's it going is a spoken, sort of informal way to say, how is it going? So in spoken English, we use a lot of contractions. Contractions are when we take two words, get rid of some of the letters, use the apostrophe, and make them one word. Another spoken English feature in this question is losing the G. You can see there's an apostrophe here, so this tells us often that there is some letter or letters missing. So this is going. We do this just because we're typically speaking fast, and when you speak fast, things get chopped. So going, the G often goes away. Keep in mind, we don't always do this, and not everyone will do this when they're speaking all of the time. Water. This is another example of spoken English contraction. What do you think these two words are? What are. Good. So what are you doing? Where are you going? We can use it with where. Awesome. What do you think awesome meant? Awesome means really great, or amazing, or somehow just super. Working. Very similar to up here, right? Only here, right? Again, it's a contraction like this. What are we missing here? I said that I could work and travel. Or Steve said that I could work and travel work and travel, right? So we use this, right? We get rid of the a ah sound and the d sound. So we have two things, this and this. That's and. Fortunate. Good luck, right? So if you're fortunate, you have some sort of good luck. Holiday. So in the U.S., the word holiday means a day of celebration, like Christmas, or Father's Day, or Halloween. In England and some other countries, they use holiday to mean vacation. So Steve is on vacation, I would say. You all. You all is the same as saying all of you. In other parts of the United States, for example in the South, you might hear people say y'all. Souvenir. A souvenir is something you buy such as when you're on vacation, to remember a place. So Steve's daughter bought a souvenir of the Terracotta Warriors in China. Guys. Guys can mean a group of male people, boys or men. But guys is often used a lot just to mean folks, friends, or a group of people. Right? So I use guys to refer to Steve's family. I might say, how are you guys doing? How is your family doing? Dumplings. Dumplings are a kind of food. They're a dough pocket with meat or vegetables inside. Many cultures have dumplings, even though they might look a little bit different. Squid. I have a picture, so here's the squid. 
a sea animal that many people eat in Asian countries, and some people in the United States also eat them. Fan. Someone who likes something. Right? So a fan of something means you like it. A fan of this musician, a fan of this movie. Right? I am not a fan of squid, so I do not like squid. Here are a couple links with some vo vacation vocabulary. Check them out. If you're on vacation, think about the words you might need to use. Thank you, and have a great day.